we cannot talk about divine mercy without talking about the image. It's at the center of this devotion and we need it now more than ever. All of you know the problems going on in the world, coming persecutions, fears, struggles that people have, attacks on sexuality, attacks on the family from without and from within, um, the things happening in the church, attacks from the church and division in the church, so many problems. And on the surface, it could seem like we're fighting a losing battle. And many people despair and give in to fear and anxiety, and it could seem like we have nothing to fight this battle with. That's what it seems like. That's the appearance, and that's what the devil always wants to do. He wants to convince you that he is more powerful than God. But my friends, with this Divine Mercy devotion, we have an amazing weapon, an impenetrable shield, the image itself. Every Catholic home needs to have a Divine Mercy image in their home. It doesn't matter what size. I have a small one in my office. Uh, my son has a small one upstairs. We have a very large one that I'm gonna show you just out here. You need to get one. Get it from the Marians of the Immaculate Conception. They have a website. I'm gonna link that down below so that you can get it. And you need to hear from the diary about this image why it's so powerful, why this is a source of grace that we could have right in our very homes to protect us from evil, to defend us from everything that's happening, to give us strength, and to be a source of consolation. So three beautiful quotes that you need to hear from the image. Paragraph 313, just a very simple uh, statement. She heard these words, St. Faustina, not in the beauty of the color, nor of the brush, lies the greatness of this image, but in the my grace. One thing that we learn in our Catholic faith is that there is these different sacramentals that promises are attached to them. That's why they're so powerful because God unites his promise of specific graces through whatever it is, the miraculous medal, like the one that I have, someone commented on it the other day, that has promises attached to it, um, different scapulars, other different images. And this one is unique for our time. Let's hear another quote, and this one's uh, a little bit longer. I'll read the second portion of it. Yes, the first Sunday after Easter is the Feast of Mercy, but there must also be acts of mercy. And I demand the worship of my mercy through the solemn celebration of the feast and through the veneration of the image which is painted. By means of this image, I shall grant many graces to souls. It is to be a reminder of the demands of my mercy because even the strongest faith is of no avail without works. For those that are Protestant that are listening, we must act on the faith that we profess. And by venerating the image of divine mercy, we will receive so many graces, ones that we don't even can't even conceive of. And how can you uh, keep those from your family? How can you keep those from you? We uh, Again, I'm gonna show you the image that we have right here, just so, you, so that you can understand that I'm giving you the example myself. And then the last quote, already there are many souls who have been drawn to my love by this image. My mercy acts in souls through this work. So in the past, the church would make processions of the blessed sacrament and often maybe the church in your local area is afraid to do that. And the Blessed Sacrament would transmit so many graces because as, as human beings, we need to receive grace through material means, the sacraments or images or things that we can touch. Our body receives graces through physical things such as this image. Well, maybe we as lay people should take it around and bring it to wherever and let it shine in dark places I hear where I live, you'll see different places that will have the image placed in their in their yard or, or in their business. And I know that, that that image is pouring out graces on everyone that sees it, even if it's just for a moment. But here, I got I gotta show it to you because you need to have one in your house, and I have a really large one. Yeah, so this is a full size Jesus. Because I want full size blessings and graces and we need it in our families. My friends, believe in the power of this image and put your belief into practice. Go to the website down below. It's the Marians of the Immaculate Conception. You support their ministry and get yourself, you can get all different sizes. 
This is uh, without a frame, so it's less expensive and much lighter. You can transfer it all over the place and get it for yourself. By the way, today's video is sponsored by, as always, my wife and her NFP practice. She is a Marquette Method NFP teacher. If you are wanting to understand your fertility cycles so that you can have children, or maybe you're older and, and you don't wanna use these awful hormones or whatever, and you wanna understand so that you can decide prayerfully the children that you wanna have, contact her below. Right here is her email address, Uniquely Mary NFP. She could help you. She's a registered nurse, and you have to be a nurse or a doctor to do this. So it is an amazing method to help you out. My friends, God bless you. Thank you for joining me as we approach this Feast of Divine Mercy. Let's get the image in every Catholic home possible. God bless you, and I will see you in the next one.